Hi there. In this video series, we're going to cover four distinct goals that you can set for your affiliate program. In this particular video, we will discuss the goal of increasing your audience and brand exposure. If you're a company that's maybe a little bit more mature or you want to focus a little more than just installing reversion and playing for the long term, then really your next goal is to increase brand exposure and awareness. The main way you do this with reversion is getting more affiliates. One of the best ways to do this is thinking about a nano and micro influencer program. If you're not familiar with those terms, they're essentially just marketing speak for regular people. They can be your existing customers, they can just be people who like your brand, but they're not influencers in the sense that they have a large following or anything like that, which means there's a much lower barrier to entry. You have the opportunity to target people who are genuinely excited about your brand or that are excited for the opportunity because each one of them, generally speaking, will have a lower ability to drive a ton of traffic on their own. In this situation, quantity is prioritized over quality to some degree. You basically want to get people on the door. You don't want to be too tough on how you curate, for instance by saying you must have X number of followers to join our program. But at the same time, this is not to say that you should just have a free-for-all. You still definitely need to curate by understanding who these people are that are applying to join your program. For instance, if you have a program that's focused on your customers and turning customers into affiliates, then you want to know what do they love about your products? Why do they want to tell other people about your products? Of course, what are their social handles so that you can verify who they say they are? It's always important to do that curation and vetting, which can be as simple as verifying, yep, John is John and he loves our products and he purchased from us last week and he's accepted. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. When you're thinking about who can be a nano or micro-influencer for you, existing customers are a great first low-hanging fruit. You already have their information, you already can reach out to them. You probably are already reaching out to them in some of your post-sales marketing. It's a great opportunity to target people who like you enough to buy something from you and very well could be interested in promoting for you. One of the things that people using this goal and using this strategy will do early on is send out a mass email to their existing customer list mentioning something to the effect of, great news, we've just launched this new ambassador program. Maybe talk a little bit about how it's structured and any incentives, and have people apply. To bring up the post-purchase channel again, using Refersion, there is a pop-up that can appear on your store's thank you page, which prompts your customers to join your affiliate program with just the click of a button. There are a lot of ways that you can go about growing your audience. One method that you could utilize for your brand and for your affiliate program is to run hyper-targeted ads. Just keep in mind that you need to make sure that you're putting yourself in front of people who are really going to be a good fit. If you're kind of a niche product, then you should know and target influencers and audiences in that niche. The more broad your affiliate program is, then the more diluted it also becomes. Some merchants have the idea of, okay, I'm going to tell my affiliates exactly what to say and I just want them to cut and paste that on their socials. I'm trying to make it easy for them. The idea behind that is noble, but on the other hand, I think it's a little misguided because the problem is you can't make it too easy. Your goal should be to inform your affiliates, to let them know about your product, your company, and to give them ideas or prompts for content. You can definitely give them resources to promote for you effectively, but if you expect them to be effective promoters, then their promotion efforts and content have to be authentic. And if they're just cutting and pasting what you're telling them, well, it's not going to come across as authentic. It's going to come across like a sponsored post that people just scroll right by. For any influencer, whether they're a micro or larger influencer, to actually gain engagement, traction, and ultimately drive sales to your site, people need to be enthused by what they're talking about. They need to see it and recognize it as something that is of interest to them and important to them. And that really does come from the idea of the influencer really being authentic and honest with their audience. So the more that you can do to help them, whether it's talking about a particular product, showcasing things that work, talking about if you have a story, a cause, those are really important things to make sure your influencers understand and can use in their own efforts. Someone who's out there who just wants you to tell them what to do and cut and paste what you do, you'll find that in the end, they're just not gonna drive much traffic. One of the things that you might've already seen in Refersion is the ability to create a lot of customized offers and commission structures. This can be a great tool, but you shouldn't overthink it. Especially early on in your program, if you have relatively low bandwidth, it's best to just keep things simple. You might only need one or two offers. As your program grows, of course you can further change that, scale it, and add incentives. 
Refersion has lots of tools, so it's able to grow with you and handle more complicated programs. At the same time though, we still have huge merchants driving millions of dollars in affiliate revenue a month who still have one offer and pay out a simple percentage. So you don't need complicated offers to have a successful program. In the beginning, you should focus more on finding and engaging with the right people, as opposed to building out super complicated structures. That said, if early on you do have some kind of clear segmentations, whether it's by medium or if you are working with maybe a couple larger influencers and then also want to have a nano influencer program, then it can make sense to segment those groups into different offers right off the bat so you can communicate effectively with your different groups of affiliates. Refersion also offers resources for finding influencers and affiliates. We work with carefully selected and curated partners. These are other companies out there that specialize in a variety of things depending on your needs, such as helping you identify people on social media who might be talking about your product and who might be good fits for your type of product. Some of these companies include Gatsby, This Is Hey, Aspire IQ, Captivate, Upfluence, and Caro. These companies vary widely in their scale, what they target, their cost, and so forth. So certainly, while we recommend taking a look at them, if there's something of interest, do your due diligence. Make sure it makes sense for you at your scale. Again, it goes back to knowing yourself and your budget. Merchants on our enterprise plan also have additional tools at their disposal. Using our affiliate discovery tool, you can research and discover new affiliates. This powerful solution gives you access to our directory of over 3.6 million affiliates and streamlines every step of the affiliate discovery and recruitment workflow, from creating a list of your favorite affiliates to downloading their contact information and discovering which top performing affiliates are working with your competitors. If your goal is to increase brand exposure and awareness, then you need to understand what kind of KPIs you're going to look at. And this is where objective numbers come in and the idea of measuring and measuring and measuring. First of all, you need to know your baselines. The key baseline you need to understand before you begin any affiliate program with the goal of creating brand exposure is, what's your current traffic? That's where Google Analytics and other tools can be beneficial. If you don't know how many people are coming to your site today, then it's gonna be hard to know in a month from now, and two months from now, did that increase? Am I getting more eyes on my site? Of course, Refersion can track clicks and purchases in your store through affiliate promotion, but you also want to get a handle of people who come to your site through all other channels. The other key thing that you need to focus on if your goal is to get more people in the door is your number of active affiliates, and more critically, the trend analysis. Depending on your scale, you're not necessarily going to go from zero affiliates to a thousand affiliates overnight, but you want to see those positive trends and also use that to set realistic goals. For instance, if you're a brand new company and you don't have much in the way of existing customers and marketing, then maybe you set a very conservative early goal of saying, I want to have 10 new micro-influencers this month. So you set that goal, then you track. You might email your existing customers and set up post-sales marketing. You'll make sure you're advertising your affiliate program on your socials so that people know about it, and you can see how many people apply. You keep an eye on the number of affiliates in your program and see if it's going in the right direction. In a month, you check your results and maybe you've exceeded that goal of 10 affiliates a month and now you're up to 20 or 30. You can, of course, reevaluate your goal. Or maybe you're not hitting that goal yet. You might need to take a step back and figure out what else do you need to do. Maybe work more aggressively on targeting people, make more reach outs because passive promotion isn't working, understand what goal you're trying to hit, and then take a deeper look at it. A similar thing can be said about clicks. If one of your goals is brand exposure and brand awareness, then that's where your initial baselines from Google Analytics can tell you what kind of traffic and exposure you're already getting on day one. How about on day 30? For click traffic, Refersion isn't designed to give you the most in-depth data about how many people might come to your site, how long they linger, what pages they visit. So that's where you can benefit from an additional tool like Google Analytics. There are a lot of tools out there that can help you dive pretty deeply into your site traffic, though some of it might be overkill depending on where you are in your stage of business. But at the very least, you need to know where you stand on day one before you started the program. Where are you today? Where do you want to be? This is where the idea of the micro goal comes in. So a weekly goal, a monthly goal, a quarterly goal. It's a lot easier to set micro goals and reevaluate than to set a big, broad goal, especially early. It might be silly to say, I want 10,000 affiliates. Well, how are you going to get there? That's kind of a big ask, perhaps on day one. But if you break that up into smaller bits, you can focus on getting those numbers in and making sure you're on target and adjusting as needed. 
So getting affiliates in the door, that's step one. It doesn't end there though, because getting a whole bunch of names signed up who never do anything, well, that's not going to accomplish much. That's where the next step comes in, and that's engagement. In general, you want to make sure you're engaging with your existing affiliates as often as possible. Maybe that means emails, maybe that means SMS. Essentially, you want to stay fresh in their memory. The objective here is thinking about how you're planning for the long term and building a bigger sense of community of content creators who are out there, who love your product, and who are talking about your product. You're not just trying to get someone signed up and then you never reach out to them and they never do anything because that's pointless. I can't stress this enough. In our experience, there really is a massive correlation between lack of engagement and lack of performance. If you don't talk to your affiliates, then you can't really expect the vast majority of them to accomplish much, especially when you're dealing with nano and micro influencers where this isn't their day job. If someone is a nano or a micro influencer, then it's likely that they're doing so because it's something they're passionate about. You need to feed into that passion. Your registration page in Refersion is one of the key things you can use to gather the right information about potential affiliates. We always say focus on the who and the how. Who are these people and how are they going to promote for you? You should know where they're located, their socials, and why they're interested in your product. If you don't know that, then it's really hard to understand how they might be successful and what might make sense in the long term for you. For instance, you might find that bloggers can still be a really effective tool for certain verticals and completely pointless for others. Same with social media. Maybe Instagram is the perfect tool for certain products, but not other products. Those are the kinds of insights that are really specific to your company and your vertical. So you need to make sure you're getting enough information to be able to track that and understand what's working and what's not. When it comes to engagement, you might have seen in Refersion that while we have our messaging center and we have transactional emails, we don't have drips. That's where our marketing automation partners are key. For instance, our Klaviyo integration which on affiliate approval pushes the affiliate into your designated Klaviyo list from where you can set up segmented messaging, campaigns, and generally communicate in a more customizable and dynamic way. If you're not using one of our supported marketing automation platforms, then our Zapier integration and or our webhooks will usually allow you to connect Refersion to other marketing automation tools such as OmniSend, HubSpot, or ActiveCampaign. Worst case scenario, you can always manually export and import your affiliate information for email purposes. But most of the time, it can all be automated, and the more things that are automated save you time and energy. One of the reports we can run for you is what we call our affiliate engagement KPIs. It goes into who's performing and who's not performing. A lot of merchants will call out inactive affiliates when they see them. Let's say an affiliate joined your program six months ago, and since then hasn't even sent you a single click. While you might think that they're not worth any more time or energy, you might be right, but before you kick anyone out of your program, do always consider a retargeting program. We can help you identify those non-performers by whatever metric you deem, and you can target them, maybe with just a simple email. The reason for that is, you already have them in the door. Maybe that extra email will give them the TLC that they need to start promoting for you, and if maybe even 10% of those inactive affiliates go from doing nothing to sending in one sale a month, it's pretty easy to see how that can start adding up to real numbers. If you take nothing else from this presentation, you should take away the idea of how to work best with affiliates, and that's to build a community, not just a list of names. Anyone can give you a list of names. Your goal isn't just to get names in the door. And while for nano influencer programs, yes, you do want to get people in, and you don't necessarily want to curate them too hard, at the same time, you want to make sure that they're relevant and moreover, you cultivate them and turn it into something real. Think of how you do that over the long term, and you're going to have the right mindset for success. In general, building a community around your brand and your affiliate program is not only great for engagement, it can also be a source of community-led support and resource sharing amongst your affiliates. In fact, some of the most successful programs that we've seen utilize groups to great effect so that their affiliates are always communicating with each other and with the merchant instead of just being left to their own devices. For example, you could create a Facebook group for your affiliates. Celebrating small things like affiliate birthdays goes a long way too. As you grow, that's where some of the incentives that Refersion has can come into play. That can include everything from tiered commissions to bonus tiers on our enterprise plan. With regards to bonus tiers, one route that we've seen merchants be very successful with is setting one very low benchmark that all affiliates can easily attain. Generally speaking, when running an affiliate program, 
It's not uncommon to see that only a small percentage of your affiliates are driving the large portion of your affiliate sales. It might be true that the majority of the affiliates in your program just need a bit of TLC to get their first few conversions recorded. And this is where bonus tiers can help you out. By setting a bonus tier at a very low barrier, maybe just five conversions or even one conversion, and offering a low cost reward to your affiliates, maybe a small commission bonus or some free swag for your brand like stickers, you'll be able to drive a lot more engagement with a large portion of your affiliate program that would otherwise be unmotivated to promote your brand.